Stock or Philippine National Oil Company studies deuterium as possible fuel power source. On August 9, 2021, State LED Philippine National Oil Company, PNOC, said it is in the initial stage of exploring the production of fuel from deuterium. Deuterium, a hydrogen isotope with a neutron, occurs in about 1 out of 6,400 hydrogen atoms. It is said to be naturally abundant in oceans. Talk study regarding deuterium's feasibility as fuel is currently in the conceptual phase, the entity told Business World through the Electronic Freedom of Information portal last week. The firm earlier reported on its website that its business research and development team is studying how deuterium can be used to generate power. The study is still ongoing thus it is, too, early to provide findings at this time. If deuterium will be used to produce fuel, it has to be separated first from the water. Which adds another process, Talk explained. Deuterium as fuel has not been widely researched and has only been used for nuclear fusion reactor prototypes, it added. The company said it is also exploring the possibility of generating power from protium, the so-called more dominant hydrogen isotope, which can be found in regular water. This comes as the government looks to augment the country's power mix. The Energy Department previously said it was looking at adding more renewable energy, nuclear and hydrogen-based power to the country's supply mix to prepare for any supply crunches in conventional fuels. Last year, Department of Energy DOE, Secretary Alfonso G. Cussi endorsed nuclear and hydrogen as possible fuel sources to be incorporated in the power generation mix. In December, he reported that an interagency body tasked conduct a study on the adoption of a national position on a nuclear energy program had submitted its suggestions to President Rodrigo R. Duterte. In the same month, Mr. Cussi announced that the DOE was looking at generating power from hydrogen, describing it as the fuel of the future a material that is a hundred thousand times heavier than water and denser than the core of the sun is being produced at the University of Gothenburg. The scientists working with this material are aiming for an energy process that is both more sustainable and less damaging to the environment than the nuclear power used today. Imagine a material so heavy that a cube with sides of length 10 centimeters weights 130 tons, a material whose density is significantly greater than the material in the core of the sun. Such material is being produced and studied by scientists in atmospheric science at the Department of Chemistry, the University of Gothenburg. Towards commercial use. So far, only microscopic amounts of the new material have been produced. New measurements that have been published in two scientific journals, however, have shown that the distance between atoms in the material is much smaller than in normal matter. Leif Holmlid, professor in the Department of Chemistry, believes that this is an important step on the road to commercial use of the material, the material is produced from heavy hydrogen, also known as deuterium, and is therefore known as ultra-dense deuterium. It is believed that ultra-dense deuterium plays a role in the formation of stars and that it is probably present in giant planets such as Jupiter. An efficient fuel. So what can this super-heavy material be used for? One important justification for our research is that ultra-dense deuterium may be a very efficient fuel in laser-driven nuclear fusion. It is possible to achieve nuclear fusion between deuterium nuclei using high-power lasers, releasing vast amounts of energy, says Leif Holmlet. The laser technology has long been tested on frozen deuterium, known as deuterium ice, but results have been poor. It has proved to be very difficult to compress the deuterium ice sufficiently for it to attain the high temperature required to ignite the fusion. The energy source of the future Ultra-dense deuterium is a million times denser than frozen deuterium, making it relatively easy to create a nuclear fusion reaction using high-power pulses of laser light. If we can produce large quantities of ultra-dense deuterium, the fusion process may become the energy source of the future, and it may become available much earlier than we have thought possible, says Leif Holmlet. Further, we believe that we can design the deuterium fusion such that it produces only helium and hydrogen as its products, both of which are completely non-hazardous. It will not be necessary to deal with a highly radioactive tritium that is planned for use in other types of future fusion reactors, and this means that laser-driven nuclear fusion as we envisage it will be both more sustainable and less damaging to the environment than other methods that are being developed. Deuterium Brief Facts Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen that is found in large quantities in water. More than one atom per 10,000 hydrogen atoms has a deuterium nucleus. The isotope is denoted 2H or D, and is normally known as heavy hydrogen. Deuterium is used in a number of conventional nuclear reactors in the form of heavy water, D2O, and it will probably also be used as fuel in fusion reactors in the future. Benefits of deuterium Deuterium, unlike other fuels, does not cause any harmful carbon monoxide. Emissions of deuterium are nothing but water vapor or steam. This fuel is environmentally friendly, causing no harmful pollutants. 
Deuterium mining could propel the Philippines as the biggest hydrogen fuel, Lehigh, producer in the world, and become the only fuel producer 40 to 50 years from now in an oil-depleted world economy. According to Rifles Kluman, research showed that there are only a 1,000 billion barrels of reserve petroleum left in the world today. With the world's annual consumption of 28.6 billion barrels, all reserve oil will be fully used up 35 years from now. World energy requirements will have to be shifted then to natural gas, which still has 5,457 trillion cubic feet in reserve, but this particular source is still subject to depletion. Hydrogen, which has an abundant and unlimited source in deuterium, will be the future energy reserve. If the Philippines can tap this energy source, it can have a better future and economic position than the rest of the world, including the United States of America. Oil rig platform manufacturers in Singapore can fabricate specially designed platforms for used 150M or approximately P57.5 billion. For a total cost of PHP 10 billion for research and construction of a single floating deuterium rig with an average production capacity of 50,000 barrels a day, the government can expect a conservative daily income of 4 million US dollars or 1.2 billion US dollars per year which is equivalent to P54.0 billion annually. If the government constructs one deuterium rig every year generatin, g an annual income of 1.2 billion US dollars, the Philippines. World Bank loan can be totally wiped out in less than 15 years. The budget for this venture is well within the means of the government. If the government can afford the president's P40 billion pork barrel in 2006 for assorted poverty alleviation programs, they can also afford one deuterium rig every year which has a hundred-fold cost-benefit ratio. Deuterium's economic potential in this breathe is about 12 million barrels per day capacity priced at 7 US dollars per barrel. This is 84 million US dollars per day or 30.66 billion US dollars per year enough to wipe out all existing foreign debts of the Philippine government in one year, revenue-wise, in foreign exchange. With the two top US oil companies interested in a 6 million barrels capacity, Japanese investors in a 4 million barrels capacity, and the Saudi group in a 2 million barrels daily production capacity, the total prospective investors' inquiry so far received is 12 million barrels daily production. This is 84 million US dollars per day or 30.66 billion US dollars per year, enough to wipe out all existing foreign debts of the Philippine government in one year, revenue wise, in foreign exchange. The Philippines can supply all the fuel requirements of the world in deuterium as hydrogen fuel and hydrogen for food, chemical, and metal industries worldwide. Dr. Halog said that deuterium projects combined production capacities will employ no less than 350,000 personnel of international pay rates and allowances for unskilled, semi-skilled, technical, and professional levels from the Philippines. Less than 2,000 foreign nationals will also be employed on the transfer of technology. The type of operation is the same as those in the Middle East petroleum production and mining facilities, with the same pay rates so as not to disturb international energy pricing and economy of costs. Once deuterium exploration and extraction succeed, public works, private construction, economic and financial booms are expected to happen in the Philippines in the same manner as those which happened in the Middle East and financial centers of the world from 1974 to 1984 with everybody earning their respective comfortable livelihood while pricing basic prime necessities at reasonable and affordable levels.